Yo what's up guys this is Happy No with another Guild Wars 2 PvP video and this time with the core guardian with the 100% crit chance guardian better said and showing you here a really interesting build which can be played on two types first one is this one here with a, a little bit better survivability I would say and a little bit of team support and the other one will be the hardcore type of this build which means you will have even more constant damage output but you will be weaker in terms of survivability and today I have here a really nice team comp better said it is not in my favor because the double rangers can pretty hard CC me and deal a lot of damage but therefore I can hide around and just play with this environment here that they created on this map um, I wanted to apologize again that it took me so long to make another video I just was not in a good mood and basically yeah the last things that happened and you always just support me I know that and I really appreciate it but then there are a lot of people I call them haters who just try to bother me and to ruin my content and stuff like that but never mind I don't even want to talk about them because sooner or later you will see who is the bad player, the meme, and so on and so on. Okay, we can get this guy even. Ah, no, 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 no. Ah, hey, I haven't caught him there. Okay, this guy should be able to get, get him. He's a mesmer, he's in favor, and I could even go for the kill. No. You see this? He's using the environmental uh, environment pretty nice there. Okay, maybe this guy here. Oh shit, I have no port. That was so stupid for me. Okay, he already just used that. Here we go, auto attacking a little bit. Stability. Oh, 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 oh. And this guy is done, using my elite skill, preventing the stun from his pet, blinding him with quickness. He should be dead, yes. Okay, so far this is an easy enemy, might seem not so high. I got a little bit of DK and I am on platinum something, I'm really low right now. Okay, which one is far, which one is close? Here we go, I caught him, I caught him. Maybe, maybe. Come on. He's not attacking me, he's not stealing onto me. Okay. They will decap this, I will get far. Okay, you can see this here now. I have no lead skill, so I should keep a little bit the distance. Porting onto this guy, blinding him once. Getting myself some light aura. Okay, this guy is now in his obsidian flesh form, so I have to leave a little bit. Here we go. Okay, I need to cleave this stupid burning. Oh my goodness, my ally. Shit, unportable. Unportable. Yeah, it is an unportable spot. Great, 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 great. He's not caring. It is okay if I can keep this up a little bit. I just have to auto attack. Kill this guy here if I can. Stupid pet. Oh my goodness. No, no, no. Shit. That was so bad. This is just it. It is so stupid. Come on, but this time I got it. <laughs> I can't do anything. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Get myself some light aura. 
if this guy is not caring that much yes yes <laughs> i mean do you see this damage <sighs> that was a close call okay to be to be fair my team is seems also not to be the strongest that i have here that i had this uh, 10 hours 1v2 here okay just blocking a little bit nice blocking there chilling here a little bit because this guy just yeah oh my goodness what is this lag please hello lag is in the house I might be dead yep holy fuck and yeah <laughs> this is also one of the reasons why I'm not making so many videos for the last two weeks I played a few of games but it's unplayable I don't know why yeah yeah my team is losing I had a 1v2 1v3 uh, the game is for me a little bit unplayable because I have freaking annoying high lags okay this guy is fighting a pet which is awesome and I might just try to kill this guy here first giving this guy here a stability okay okay here we go interrupted him and my ally is of course not attacking what is this guy doing what is this guy doing I need to leave this he will just be losing this and I might lose here as well if I don't leave this I get myself first the light aura I want to get the points and afterwards my team can do what they want why is he not I go ahead and chase a thief instead of just going for the cap okay at least I got it now I'm gonna get far the th their thief is also not helping his allies so it's okay for me touching this it's just good for me shit I missed my blind here we go why is he still not losing the cap here yes easy kill I mean this guy will have need a little bit more to use his survivability I use my healing skill here to just get myself a little bit healed up because of the thief if he spikes me I might die pretty bad here oh shit oh shit get the cap yes I got the cap hiding 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 ah oh, shit I have condition on me <laughs> block now I got you what I need to stomp him fast oh my goodness please not <laughs> please not <laughs> jump I have two symbols and I die here yes 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 great one nice one now kill him fast I have to hide I have to hide I mean my allies are just not the fastest people there okay 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 he had him okay he has his buff for one second nice so I'm, I might catch him here I haven't got the blind okay I don't let him get the decap here our clothes seems to be fine there are two we wanting this mesmer and yeah just take a chill if you have games like this oh damn it just take a chill you see this um, you don't have to overextend too much um, don't go into one of you ones that you might not be able to handle and if you have like this the situation my team okay my team is losing to this mesmer for whatever reason if you have the situation just try something like this you can see this guy here he's just 
being pretty cheesy blinding him he's staying there which makes no sense at all I need to do this cleave pretty hard uh, soul beast is pretty strong you see this his mistake he should learn his rotations a little bit better and then he should know how to react because he had a game uh, a fight against me where he was not able to do that much how he might have wanted it he just used all his burst in middle and you saw how easy it is to avoid the axe 5 of a soul beast you just keep the distance and before you do that learn just some combos and then as i said use your environmental here because a thief for example he can't port here onto you you see this he can't port on me then if the soul beast comes from this side you just hide behind this huge pillar and he's not able to hit you you see this he can hit this guy he hides here behind and he can't do anything and that's how you exactly are going to win a game of course now this game is not so high quality but it is just because I'm on platinum level and the average plat player don't even belongs here. You see this? I lose a lot of rating for whatever reason here. Um, yeah. Never mind. I don't want to trash talk to anyone because that's not even my the thing that I do. I make my videos to really make you guys improve yourself in the game and overall. Because would it not be fun if you guys would be all on top, have pretty awesome games where you have like 500 to 450 games and not 500 to 100 games and where, where you can't where you aren't able like to beat 1v2s with an ease because the enemy players have no idea or when you just have always enemies you 1v1 and you win easily no what i like is i want to have a 1v1 against a strong enemy and if i fail he kills me that's okay why because he was the better player don't fail that's how easy it is but if I have players like you saw this, no offense to this ranger, but he might be even uh, legendary, not legendary, gold or something. But in my understanding, gold and platinum should be like the mediocre players, not highest, but mediocre. But that's not even mediocre if you just stay on a point and just throw your attacks out and you're, you know, that's just it. Okay, let's go ahead. This is my core guardian, Trafalgar Law long time no see i know um in a really cool blue looking skins and because you guys always will ask me about it i will just show it to you here lunatic templar helm which is from the halloween events or something like that the night fury which is also from the halloween event and maybe i will even swap this to make it your his shoulders all shoulders also with some cool blue animations pirate gloves looks pretty nice especially with the faux fires essence great sword perfect combo then I go with Mistward leg guards and Mistward war boots for my equipment then I use your breath with faux fires essence and gold rectal focus maybe if I find something blue focus ish I will go with it but for now it will be this then let's go ahead with the utility skills first with the healing skill litany of breath as you can see it's here 20 seconds cooldown because of the build that I'm rocking um, it is a healing skill for 6 seconds, which applies healing to you by 25% of the damage that you will deal. And this is pretty strong with this build in combination with your symbols here, where you can lay down 2 and then just throw out attacks here. And the enemy player, if he's holding a point, as you saw against the Weaver, he will get damaged by all sides. And he has to either get away from the point or use a lot of dodges to avoid your damage, which makes the skill so great. It has 4k, almost 4k instant healing, gives you fury and your nearby allies as well, and it removes two condition in combination with the build, which I will explain later on. Smite condition, 16 seconds cooldown, pretty pretty awesome and strong skill. I recommend to use this skill even if you don't play with the meditation trait lines, because it heals you up, it removes conditions, and it gives you fury which is so so nice first of all 2k healing four seconds fury for your nearby allies and then the two condition removal and plus the last and best thing here is it deals damage and it deals additional damage if you have conditions on you 
so keep that in mind don't just throw this out as it would be nothing i try to use it always when i'm near an enemy player to deal damage pretty awesome skill and you can just throw it out 16 seconds cooldown you will have it up in a while in a in two dodges in a little bit of walking you will have it up again and remove additional conditions with it then judges intervention your catch skill how to say it it is a nice stun break it can help you up to retreat or to catch enemy players most likely used with the binding blade or with the wilding breath combo to dps enemy players or to just pull them onto you to interrupt them and um, you can also use it like this if you have an enemy player here and someone else is fighting you here you can just use it judge's intervention on this guy for example and you will be ported onto him while the enemy player has to chase you then to retreat then stand your ground is an awesome skill as well has a little bit of mediocre cooldown but with this build it rocks pretty hard because it gives you retaliation and stability for you and nearby allies and it is also a stun break not just for you but for your allies as well which is pretty strong while you revive someone or when you are in a team fight helps a lot but a lot of people don't know it the main reason why we use it is of course for ourselves the stability and extra retaliation which i will explain later on with this build then renewed focus the main elite skill 84 seconds cooldown gives you again 2k healing fury and it has a two, 3 seconds invulnerable to all incoming damage which is pretty nice the skill can't be blocked uh, attacked by unblockable attacks like this <laughs> okay let's go with the build now the build is similar to the Valkyrie guardian with the 60% burning but a little bit different i'm rocking valor virtues and radiance so on the first one smite's boon smiter's boon when you use your healing skill you get an additional 2k healing remove two conditions grant additional four seconds of fury and deal damage keep that in mind because of this then strength in numbers because the other ones make no not so much sense with this build we are not using a shield and we are not having so many blocks only with aegis which is not working with aegis i guess and with the uh, focus five then strength in numbers grants you some additional toughness maybe uh, you can even try this one here it will be nice if you get re um, aegis removed you go with the shield of wrath and then with the greatsword two which means you will have Aegis up and get some yeah extra block instead of the 3-4 but it will occur only really yeah every 15 seconds then monks focus meditation skills heal you grant fury and have reduced cooldown as i said we are using one two three four and five with the healing skill five meditation skills five times healing then unscattered contender this is like just the main thing here because you can surprise enemy players with some nice bursts and if you have aegis up and especially works pretty nice with shield of wrath because the enemy has to hit you three times before you can remove your aegis this allows you to apply to make some nice place if an enemy is not expecting you otherwise you can also go with retali retaliatory subconscious but it has a too long cooldown and it just gives you one aegis and retaliation for myself it's too weak to be really viable to use Mon master of consecration makes also no sense because we are using none of them and then absolute resolution activating virtue of resolve removes conditions from nearby allies and resolves passive effect is stronger which means you will have instead of the how much healing 100 something not even 100 you will have a 315 healing uh, for three seconds which means a 105 healing per second but mainly it is to have additional three condition removal and the skill itself removes two and now you will have three additional ones which also removes three conditions from nearby allies which you should keep in mind because this gives you some team uh, fight capability then indomitable courage for extra stability and for eggs refresh every 30 seconds but mainly i use virtues for this one here inspired virtue uh, apply boons to allies when activated you grant a little bit more might when you use when you use your virtue of justice and the main reason is here virtue of retribution gain retaliation when you activate a virtue retaliation you grant has increased duration which means you will have almost four seconds of retaliation and therefore you will grant yourself additional might stacks and you can see it here 
with all of them you will grant yourself retaliation and therefore you can stack a lot of retaliation and with retaliation you can see it here you will stack yourself some nice might that's the main reason why virtues is the thing that i use mainly and then the last one radiance justice is blind this is something important to notice that you understand justice is blind gives you a light aura for four seconds 10 percent minus incoming condition damage and duration i thought uh, let's see okay i guess only the damage is reduced but before it was also the duration is re reduced but 10 percent damage reduction from condis is also pretty nice so what you will get is with justice is blind when you use this skill you will have the passive extra uh, the active burning for three attacks and then you will have the pa the three stacks of might one blind and retaliation for almost four seconds plus the light aura against condi players pretty pretty strong yeah that's the main thing here when you stomp someone you will regain it immediately that's why i always use it because you will have it up again you are able again to block an additional attack and, and again grant yourself additional might and additional retaliation then heal is retribution every 20 seconds which means your healing skill you will grant yourself 10 seconds of retaliation which means yeah the higher crit chance which i which is later on here explained um retaliation grants you increased damage 10 percent damage bonus which we have here against burning foes 10 percent higher crit chance yeah this makes this build even the 110 percent crit chance guardian but never mind Righto's instant retaliation increases your chances to critically strike and grants might each interval which means every second you will have one stack of might when you have retaliation and an additional 25 percent higher crit chance in combination with the fury which gives you 20 you will have only from those two 45 percent crit chance but uh, where is it here your build is the Moradeur amulet with rune of strength Moradeur amulet grants you how much critical hit chance 55 percent which means when you use this boom you have the 100 percent crit chance if you get burning onto enemy players you will have 110 percent crit chance which makes this build so solid and you can see it here even if you if fury or retaliation gets removed you will have at least 75 percent 80 percent crit chance if you have either fury or retaliation up which is so so nice then on the sword focus i use sigil of annulment with sigil of energy one extra dodge here and then sigil of annulment allowing you to remove two boons from the enemy players allows you to remove like stability or the best thing protection so you are able to deal more, more damage to enemy players and why i use it on the sword because either with symbol of blades you can port into the enemy and hit him or with your ray of judgment you will also land a nice attack from the distance which will also trigger sigil of annulment on the great sword i use sigil of agility with sigil of battle you see a lot of people use sigil of intelligence and stuff but with this build you have the 100 percent crit chance so you don't need it what is better five additional stacks of might uh, four but for five seconds uh, which is more than enough to really burst down with the wild symbol of uh, no wilding wrath attack with agility here the one second quickness is more than enough to jump into the enemy players hit hit them hard with wilding wrath and get nice kills there and what else can i say this build is also strong because you have a lot of light aura capabilities for example with your symbol of blades swap to your greatsword boom one light aura and then later on you can use again the leap of faith with your greatsword 4 to have an additional light aura and as i said with a one ability the light aura um yeah what's the weakness of this build it's a core build that's the weakness you don't have like the dragon hunter bl many more blocks or something like that but you have high damage output and really constant damage output and now to just give you that what i wanted to show you the hardest build to play like this would be in my opinion if you go with the zeal deal increased burning that uh, damage to burning foes gives you seven percent more damage this is just the hardcore type of build uh, symbolic avenger sealess blades and fiery wrath but like this 
you will still not have the perma retaliation because you lose now virtues and you will have no stability but you will have here your litany of wrath or maybe let's go ahead with the really hardest build here which in my opinion is the hardest if you play it like this uh, symbols that's it honor zeal and radiance this is the hardcore type of build if you want to use it but it is pretty hard to play and then you should also remove this for this one here wrathful spirit aegis grants retaliation when it ends um yeah for some extra additional retaliation because you will have it only here the eight seconds and then stand your ground and then only if an enemy removes your aegis but you need this for the 100 percent crit chance but the cool thing here is uh which one was it here some extra dodges and then you will have here protectors revive no was it this it was this one sorry lesser symbol of protection which means when you use your healing skill you will lay down a symbol which will also deal damage and it has a longer duration this makes this build so hardcore damageable because you can do this boom 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 and you have three symbols immediately and the best thing with it with this one with the seal is also here that's the symbol of breath if an enemy brings your hp under 75 percent hp in a 1v1 one -one situation you will have four symbols which means four times damage and don't forget you have here wilding breath um your shield and auto attacks and blind and so on so the enemy has not just to avoid your damage but also that of your symbols and that's just pretty hard to do in my opinion uh, you can see it here you lose a little bit of crit chance or no yeah you, lo you lose it because you will not have the fury with this with this one up here uh, but if you want to have the 100% crit chance you can remove honor for the valor trade line and you will have a little bit faster recharge on your healing skill as well because without valor your healing skill has a 25% uh, 25, 25 seconds cooldown your elite skill will have 120 and judge's intervention 45 smite condition 20 you should keep that in mind but it is the hardcore type and you can just play it for fun i had a lot of fun playing the hardcore type it requires a lot more timing a lot more passive playing because you are weak 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 but you can do a lot of damage and yeah that was it guys i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you like this again my old gameplay type without talking about other players and i really apologize that i took my time to <laughs> make fun of other players because that's not my thing i just appreciate all your love all the yeah the feedback that you give me on my videos i really appreciate that and nothing else that was the core guardian hope you really enjoyed it now you will see us always three of my other videos and of course you can subscribe to my youtube channel only if you like that if not don't do it that was Happy No, the biggest PvP YouTuber, just that I said it to my haters <laughs> and to all of you, my fans, because you made me to the biggest one. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and I'll see you on my next videos. Bye bye all.